Hi, my name is Heather Scallon. I am a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor here at Fitness for Everybody. And today I am going to take Peggy through a basic training program. We're going to start with squats and lunges. Pretend you have a bench or a chair right behind you. As you go down, look at your knees. They should be behind your toes. If you can't see your toes, then you've gone too far forward with the knees, okay? All the weight should go into your heels. Think about pushing all your fire down into the heels. Everything's nice and aligned. Knees don't go in and they don't go out. Yeah. Yeah, up there. As you progress strength-wise, mm -hmm. your range of motion gets larger, then you can go way down and up without losing up the balance. Okay. Your feet, you want to align. One foot comes forward into a wide stance. Your feet are on railroad tracks, not on a balance beam. Roll your shoulders back, put them in your back pocket. Lock in your abdominals. You want to go straight down and up, north and south. Take your time. If you keep your abs contracted, you'll find your balance. Also, it's helpful to pick a spot and keep your eyes on that spot. We're going to then go to a seated leg press. The biggest thing that you want to think about is making sure you keep a 90 degree angle with the knee. This one has a little red lever. Pull up, come down as far as you can possibly go. 90 degree angle. Push back and then come down. Don't let the weights touch again. Nice and slow. Try to get a full range of motion, but don't rush through the exercise. We're then going to move to biceps and triceps, and I'll show her perfect form for both of those. Again, elbows in, they're locked down, you're nice and strong through the middle, shoulders are back and down. Curl up and slowly down. So we have two C's, contract for two. Extend for four. The key here is to keep your elbows locked into your rib cage. Pull your shoulders back. You have a nice wide stance. Abs are tight, always abs tight. We never forget that part. You press down at the bottom. Slowly let it come to the top and then press down again. Our elbows never ever move away from our sides. That's the most important because you want to isolate the tricep muscle. I'll take her then on to work the chest, where the chest presses, and then to work the back with a lateral pull down. If you're a beginner, if you are new to a gym setting, or you've been sedentary and you've not exercised for a long time, it is extremely important that you start off with machines. They're gonna help you control your movement. They're gonna place your body in the right space to do the movement correctly. We have two handles here. We're gonna start off with the top one. Foot, there's lots of little plates here and it gets confusing. You push out first with your feet and then you can grab it with your arms. And that's gonna keep you from pulling here. Place your feet wherever you like them. Align your elbows, your wrists, up with your shoulders, okay? But the shoulders are down away from the ears. You want to push out and then slowly come back in. How many out? Two and then count to four on the way back in. You have instructions, okay? I would start light. If it's way too light, stand up and fix it. Come down. Place your feet flat on the ground. Lean back, contract through the abs, and you want to pull this to the top of the breast. Squeeze your elbows together behind you just like that. Squeeze and then allow it to come back up.